What is it, Perry? Oh, this is ridiculous. What is it? You know what you did, Doctor. Uh, no, actually, I don't. Please refresh my memory. I am almost a thousand years old, you know. Just before we left Oron's belt, you called me useless. Oh, so? Sometimes you are, Perry. I'm only stating the obvious. Are you serious? After all I've done to help you on our adventures, I may admit I'm not as important as you, but I try my best. Ah. Yes, you're right, Perry. I apologize. But you could have done a better job with those thermo cufflinks. Well, at least I get an apology. Um, has that ever happened before? Uh, no, not really. Perhaps a spaceman needs help. Or, perhaps I have mail. Well, Perry, it looks like we've been invited to a space mansion. Space mansion? Oh, yes. Grupal Manor. Home of the Milky Way's most elegant businessman. He's invited us to a dinner party. How lovely. Why have we been invited? Do you know him? No. Or at least, I don't think so. Honestly, when you've been helping people out as long as I do, the faces and names all blend together. But perhaps I haven't met him yet, and we're good friends in the future. Let's find out. The date and time is May 13th, 5924. This is marvelous. This must be one of the most wonderful homes I've ever seen. Oh, you think this is good? You should visit the Grand Mansion of Astria. Makes this place look like a doghouse. Welcome, the Doctor and Friend. Ah, hello. So, Mr. Polis invited us, did he? Yes. Mr. Polis has been eagerly anticipating your arrival. Follow me and I will lead you to him at the party. Doctor, he's all see-through? Oh, 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 yes. He's what is known as a Titani, an intelligent life form made by the human race to serve them. So, he's basically a living robot? Well, no, Perry. Robots are beings that have no emotion, thoughts, or feelings, and will obey any command without question. Titani are actual living beings just like you and me. But are slaves to the human race? Not at all, madam. We Titani serve the human race with pride and honor. We do not serve without free will. Our masters pay us a decent amount and we can retire whenever we want. Oh, I understand now. What's your name? You can call me Mr. Zanesworth. Here we are. There's the Doctor! I told you the Doctor was real! How oh, great to see you again! Um, where's the Doctor? Right here, Mr. Polis. I'm the Doctor. You invited me. But can't be the Doctor. Ah, uh, yes, well, this is my sixth body. Sorry about that, it must be confusing. Now, where did you first meet the Doctor? I first met the Doctor on the abandoned planet of Manox during that nasty experience at Solomon's Fortress. Ah, yes, I see now. I haven't experienced that yet. So that's it, then. You're from my future. Uh, well, it's nice to know that I have one, but please do not speak a word of it tonight while I'm here. I cannot be spoiled of future events. Oh, yes. The Doctor did mention that there will be complications in time with, well, you. 
Anyway, you have to meet Mr. Yugani of Salas 9. He's been dying to meet you. Definitely didn't meet this doctor. He's in for a surprise. Oh, please. You flatter me too much. That business on the Indigo Blitz was all resolved by your species. Oh, it most certainly wasn't. My kind nearly started a galactic war if it wasn't for you. Although I must say, Doctor, you are not what I would expect from a man of such legend as yourself. Well, you're definitely not what I was expecting. What were you expecting, madam? Well, someone that's not Jello? I say. How dare you? I've never been so insulted. Don't tell me you associate with people like this, Doctor. Oh, Perry! It's not nice to call Mesomorphs names. I apologize, Mr. Polis and Yugani. My friend Perry is from 20th Century Earth and is not familiar with your kind. She means no offense. You don't, don't you, Perry? Uh, yes. I'm so sorry, Mr. Yugani. Well, I suppose it's not a problem. You know, most humans that have never seen a mismorph before have a reaction of awe. But I will not take that hideous insult lightly. You best watch yourself, madam. Please, Perry, don't embarrass us like that again. Oh, come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never said something offensive accidentally in front of a race you never met before. Yes, I know all about that after that incident on Tubio. Had no idea waving meant kill on that planet. So this is the famous doctor you want to shut up about, Paulus? Ah, yes, hello, and you are? Zachary Quintos, president of Mars. I'm surprised you haven't heard of me. Ah, yes, of course. Zachary Quintos. The man that got oxygen on the desolate planet. What a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure to meet you as well, Doctor. Now, Polis, when are we going to talk about the crisis in your factories? Oh, that can wait after the party, Zachary. This is a time of celebration. I don't wish to talk about such matters right now. Fine. But it's going to happen, Polis. We've been waiting too long for this. What's the crisis? Oh, it's nothing, really. Zachary claims that my factories have been polluting the air and is destroying Mars's oxygen. I've checked it over several times with my experts and they assure me that there is zero proof of that. I think Zachary is just trying to get something done as a means of getting re-elected. Seems politicians are still scummy in the far future, then. He may be, but he's still a good friend of mine. Now, if you excuse me, I must make an announcement. Thank you everyone who has come here. You've all made me very happy and feel valued. Now I'm afraid the party is now concluded. Charles, Sylvia, Zachary, Yugani, Doctor and your friend. You will all follow me to my personal quarters for a more quiet and important gathering. Making us feel special, Mr. Paulus. Yes, very much so, but please, Sylvia, call me Harry. How long is this going to last, Paulus? Not long, Zachary. We'll get to your business soon enough. Now, Doctor, have you ever had the chance of meeting Charles Crane? No, I haven't. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm a producer. This is my fiance, Sophia. A pleasure, Doctor, and... Perry. Ah, Perry. What a lovely name. Aw, thank you. You know I've always loved the name Sylvia myself. So did my papa. So, Doctor, you're at a Solomon's Fortress with Harry. Oh, not yet. We mean not yet. Well, I'm a time traveler, you see. I never meet people in the right order, so 
No spoilers, please. Ah, I see. So, you're a time agent then. I would never have guessed it by just looking at you. <laughs> no, not a time agent. I don't particularly care for their use of time travel or their methods. Oh, really? Who are you affiliated with then? Nobody. Nobody. Everyone's affiliated with someone. Well, not me. So, you are just sort of an outer space hobo, are you? <laughs> now that's the best description I've ever heard of you, Doctor. Well, I've heard worse. Hello. Oh my. Um, hi? I am Akalaklata Aka. Ah, Azoki. Always wanted to meet one of your race. A pleasure to meet you. So what do you do, Akalakata? Akalata Aka. I am CEO of Kablam. Kablam? Kablam. It's the biggest online ordering store in the galaxy. Think of it as a futuristic version of Amazon. Amazon? Oh, yes, I forgot. You haven't gotten that just yet. Yes, Kablam is indeed the biggest and most importantly, the best. I knew it. You don't like Ms. Morphs. I was watching you, girl. You didn't call him any sort of name that insults him. Well, after I upset you so much, I wanted to make sure I didn't do the same to anyone else. What's wrong, Yugani? Human girl is nice. But she... She... Oh, forget it. What's his problem? Yugani always angry, looking for any excuse to yell at someone even if they're nice. Zachary, my dear friend, I assure you we will discuss... <coughs> <coughs> Harry, are you all right? Stay back! I'm a doctor! Oh dear. He's dead. Oh no! Mr. Polis! This is terrible. This is an outrage. President Quintos, you know how bad his art is. You shouldn't have provoked him with your stupid little oxygen problem. Really, Yagani? You're blaming a heart attack on someone? Akalata Laka was right. You do love arguing with people. Well, it probably wouldn't have happened if you hadn't kept pestering him. Should we call someone? Gentlemen, please stop arguing. Will everybody shut up? I'm afraid this was no heart attack. Not a heart attack. Then what caused his death, then? I have a feeling it might have something to do with that. Doctor, are you saying a needle caused him to die? Perhaps. You see, there's a little bit of liquid at the tip of it. So, what are you implying? I'm implying that Harry Polis was murdered. <laughs> <laughs>